Hello everybody, Neckwell here, and I am bringing you another part of our Fanook Mill Quick Reference Series, and this time we are going to be talking about G9 and G61. Now, those codes are classified as exact stop when you look them up, and what exactly does that mean? Well, uh, think about it like a big old semi, you know, trucking down the road going 80 miles an hour, and now it has to slam on the brakes. It does not stop immediately, does it? It will kind of go a little bit farther than where it hit the brakes. The same kind of goes for CNC machines. If you think about it, that table, a lot of the times that table is like a thousand pounds. It might be more than that. They're super heavy. They're just giant chunks of very precisely machined metal moving really fast, sometimes up to 100 inches a minute, maybe even 200 inches a minute if you're cutting aluminum, you know. It could go really, really fast. So it's real hard to slow it down. And what exact stop does is it kind of looks ahead, and it can tell when you're going to hit a corner. It'll slow down in advance, so that way the machine is at a dead stop by the time it comes to a corner. So... Typically what happens, if you don't have an exact stop, the machine won't really slow down that much to the next, uh, so, oh, that's way too thin. The machine won't really slow down between commands. It'll do it as fast as it can. Well, the result of that is sometimes it'll kind of overshoot and do that. And so I'll give you kind of a representation of what's going on here. We'll have the cutter color, uh, the cutter in blue. I'll have it down here. The cutter is moving this way, say at 100 inches a minute. Well, it'll get up here. Even though it wants to go that way, the whole table is still kind of moving this way just a little bit, not much. This is a huge over-exaggeration right here. Like, this might only be like a tenth or two tall. But for some manufacturers, that's too big. You need to have a perfect corner. So, we want to start that slowdown sequence earlier. Instead of it starting right here and slowing down and then overshooting a little bit before moving back over this way. We want it to start, let's say, down here. Because the machine is going to be like, okay... He wants me to make sure I'm dead stopped by the time I get to this corner. So if I put an exact stop, it's going to start uh, slowing down early. So that way it can make sure it's at a dead stop. So it can get that perfect 90 degree angle on the edge of that part. So uh, you kind of get an idea, hopefully... Of what's going on this won't be here if you do the exact stop it'll slow down it'll come to a dead stop and then it'll come straight this way and it eliminates that overshoot a little bit and this is uh i rarely have ever seen this used out in industry but <clears throat> excuse me um it's very rare but they are used for very precise parts i have seen it a couple times but other than that, I haven't seen it. So, let's just go ahead and write what the syntax looks like for G9. Uh, we'll cover G61 in just a second here. But say uh, this right here is... X-5... Whoops x negative 5 uh actually no you know what no that would be x0 y negative 5 and then this up here is x5 y0 so let's just go ahead and write a little program uh right here We'll make it kind of smaller so it doesn't take up so much space. Maybe 24 will be fine. 
So typically, if we wanted to get from over here to over here, uh, let's say it's at 10 inches a minute, I will just make sure that since we're we're uh, we'll just we'll g zero to this spot just for the sake of uh, you know whatever I guess. Whoops. So let's do g one, and we want to move up to y zero in this case. So we're still going to be at x zero. Because we're not, we're not going to specify that it's moving an axis; it's just moving the y. So y zero at a feed rate of 10 inches a minute. Also, by the way, in real life, never do this ever, ever. Don't do it ever. Never wrap it into a part. That's a terrible idea. You're going to break your tool. Your boss is going to get mad at you. All that shit. So don't do that. Um, so G1. Now we're here. We should be theoretically. And actually, just to make it more apparent, we're going to do it 100 inches a minute. We're, we're, cutting, we're cutting aluminum. Let's say that. So we're going 100 inches a minute. So super fast. It's going to go whoop like that. Super fast. So then it's going to go to... Uh, it's, it's already at Y0. We're just going to do X5. And so now it's gone from up to over here. So from wherever the cutter was to here to here to here. So, but that, going that fast, it might leave a little bit of an edge there. And sure, we can rub that off, but why not let the machine do it for us? So this is what you would write normally. So this is normal. And then we'll write another one right down here. And this is the one that's going to include G9. I'll just write G9 program. And we'll just put that over here so you can kind of compare them side by side. We're going to wrap it in to our starting position. But then we're going to add this right to the beginning of our code. And because G9 is not a modal code, we have to put it on every single line that we want to do an exact stop. So if I want this line to exact stop once it gets to here, I'll have to specify G9. If I wanted to do an exact stop when it's over here, I'd specify G9. In this case, we're just trying to prevent this edge from forming. So we want it to exact stop here and then move over. So we only need a G9 on this line where it's moving uh Oh, shoot. Uh, <laughs> um, let's just see if I can add that to the end there. So Y0 feed rate of 100. Okay. So, and then we, ch I'm just going to finish this program real quick. Uh, oh, no, don't need, don't need that. X5. Okay. So anyways, what I was saying is this G9 has to be on this line because every line that has the G9 in the front will uh, it will do an exact stop. It'll treat it like an exact stop so that move is going to stop earlier than it normally would to prevent this kind of edge from forming. So every line you have to do that. Now, we're going to talk about G61. And G61 is modal. Say you have four corners. And you want all of this, uh, so we'll draw a box over here. Let me just scooch it into over there. And we are just going to write uh, in some smaller font maybe. This will be x0, y2. This will be x0, y0. This corner will be x2, y2, and then this corner will be x2, y0. So let's go ahead and write a quick program for that. But we want all of these corners to be nice and sharp. So we're going to use the modal version of G9, and I'll just write this 
over here real quick. So G9 non-modal with a G61 being the modal version of exact stop. So if I start at the beginning of my program, a G61, every single move is going to have that exact stop on there. Because otherwise you'd have to write uh, G9 on every line and, you know, it would take up space. G G61 is useful uh, if you have a lot of them and maybe you need to save space in your controller because some controllers only have like a gig of space. Usually it's a lot less than that. Like I've seen controllers that only have like 500 kilobytes of space, literally nothing. And uh, but that's what you have to work with. So, you know, you can shorten programs with codes like this. So we have exact stop started. So we're starting at, we're going to wrap it into our x0 y0 let's say we started out over here or something and now we're wrapping in and then we're going to go from here to here to here to here so in this case let's pretend it's aluminum again so i'm not going to be moving the x but i'm going to be moving the y and then we'll just do a feed rate of 100 inches a minute and then we're going to be moving to the x position so that's x2 and then we're going to be moving back to the Y0 position. And then we're going to be moving back to X0. And then we'll just, we'll wrap it off screen or something. Let's say, uh, uh, I don't know, X negative 5, Y negative 5. So that would just uh, kick it over here somewhere. So this right here, these are all, this modal, so it's on now. So now every single thing after this is going to be an exact stop. So now it's going to slow it down a little bit earlier. It's not really going to affect the time that much. So I wouldn't really worry about it. If you really wanted to, you could probably keep it on the whole friggin' program. Although there's been cases where if you have enough small moves, it could add several minutes to the cycle time. So obviously you want to pick and choose when it's proper to use it. So it would go from here, slow down here, slow down here, slow down here, slow down here. And you're going to get those nice sharp corners because it slowed down instead of going as fast as it could around these edges. You'll get pretty close to square, but if, if it really matters a lot that this can't be here because of whatever manufacturer you're working with, it's important that you use exact stop whenever you're, uh, you have it available to you. And of course, if we want to cancel the G61, we can just put a G64 at the end. But I will go ahead and explain that in another video. This is basically right now, this is switching to exact stop mode. And then this is switching back to normal cutting mode where it's just going as fast as it can. So uh, anyways, that's pretty much all I have for G9 and G61. Of course, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments, and I will try to get back to you as fast as I can. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you next time.